Okay, so as promised, I'm going to do this selection. This is the first of them, five or six minute uh, videos on each element of design within the composition of a photograph. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is points. Now, before I switch around to the computer to go into a bit more detail, showing you some examples, effectively what a point is, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a point within a photograph. It's something that you're using as a perhaps a focal point, like a single tree in a landscape or something similar, okay? We're doing this in the context of uh, landscape images, of course, and what we're talking about um, is points. Points being the name given to the particular, or this particular element of design within a photo. And points being, in this case, a single point. So in this example in front of you is a well-known uh, scene, but this single tree is a single point within the photograph, which is the focal point of our attention, okay? And you can have more than one, and those more than one can be have can have relationships to one another, be it leading you through the image, or they could be a, a relationship in any context whatsoever. But the point is, they are a point, and this is an individual one here. To qualify um, really as a point, it needs to uh, be obviously uh, a center point focus within the frame. To a, and I don't mean literally center, but as in focus for the eye and um, it has to be in contrast in some way with its surroundings. So in this, in this case, it's sort of outstanding. It's clearly placed in the middle and we can see very obviously that this is the center point of the um, composition. So it's a point and that's exactly what that means. If we were to look for something with two points, now that might not be always so obvious. It could be if you can imagine a picture of a, a lake with two boats on or something and different positions on, in the in the frame but when it comes to landscape photography interestingly this image that you now see actually has two points in it which have a relationship to one another but it might not be so obvious but when this photo was being composed and created by me at the time I was conscious of it and I worked I crafted it in to the final piece or, or the composition that I created so in that in this particular case it is this uh, ovalic or almost circular boulder right in the foreground which is a quite commonly used foreground piece which is nice and sharp and detailed to start the eye as we as we look at the image this is where the eye should usually fall to start with and then it leads to its twin if you like the secondary uh, point in this case which is a similar shape and you can see the relationship once it's pointed out to you you can now see it it's one of those things it's once learned you can see and you can perform, but until you've you know, been taught it or you understand it from your own self-learning, you might not be aware. So here we have one point, two point, and there's a relationship between them in shape, in contrast in color to a degree, and also because there's a step through the image from one to the other, okay? And uh, th yeah, that, that's how complicated, if you like, or uncomplicated, depending on how you look at it, composition can be. So it does help to lead us through the image. It's quite an image, uh, an image with quite a lot of depth, shall I say, and we can also walk the path up through the river, if you like. So as a composition, we can see that this takes us on a small journey. It tells a bit of a story. So what about multiple points? Well, multiple points should really, but not always have to be, um, performing or coming together to, to form some sort of shape. Now let's just find something. I did have an example here. I can just find it, just bear with me. Where did you go? Ah, here we go. So here we've got a much broader scene. Okay, it's less intimate of a landscape photo, but what we have here are the points which you're now probably recognizing, and in this case, it's the boat. So here's, we've got one here, one here. There are smaller peripheral ones, but really it's this group here, which would be class another point, this and this. So we've got an oval shape, but you could say it's a, at an angle, it's a circle. You see how that works, how they come together to form a shape. And when you picture that shape in your mind, if I was to, and maybe I could use a tool for this and sort of sort of draw an oval shape, um, just to help, oh, an oval shape. And then I could, I could drag this roughly to where, you see how that oval goes? You see how I've done that? Okay. And, that works if you look at the shape of that oval within the overall frame it sits quite nicely it's not too near the edge you see how this boat over here is not getting too near the edge we call that in composition room to breathe if i just deselect that a minute 
and I go to the crop tool and uh, and I draw this in. If I'd shot the shot a little bit like this, this would have been too close to the edge. So now I've I've lost my my kind of balance really. So that's why it was done in this particular way. Now I've obviously cropped a little bit off in post processing because there was too much spare space down the bottom. But you could also class to a degree the tree here as another point. But we have effectively got a collection of points arranged on purpose, very deliberately, to sit in the frame in a particular way. All right, hopefully that makes sense. And you can actually see, if you really want to think about this composition more deeply, that most, if not all, of the points are in specific sectors within this divided frame. So you've got one in this one, one in this one, this one in this one, and these two in this one. That is, again, deliberate. This is very conscious, very methodical composition as it's going on. And this is forms the basis of my point about how there are there really are so many methods, rules, guides, call them whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. You don't want to take that too literally. Involved in the composition within, uh, in particular with landscape photography. So to say it's just subjective, you can now maybe begin to understand where I was coming from because it, there is so much to it. It's not chance. It's not shoot and see and see if people like it because it's subjective. Yeah, you get it? So I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, by all means ask. Put them in the comments below. And uh, we'll be doing the next one as soon as I can. Cheers for now.